Hey there, so it's Friday the 11th, so funny one today. Some people might know if they've worked with me a lot in the past that I listen to a lot of music while I'm working. Obviously there's only so much music that you can listen to over and over and over before you have to go and find something new. Many years ago I started on this uh, thing where basically I pick a band and I either, you know, listen to as much of their music as I can get my hands on or I try to, you know, get myself up to speed uh, some other way. Uh, one of my favourite ones that I ever did was with uh, CCR and, you know, just listening to every album uh, of theirs uh, just once through, loved that one. And then you get some of the ones that are really bad, like for instance when I did The Beach Boys, uh, you know, once you... you go through their albums, you, you get one or two good songs and then there'll just be a whole bunch of weird stuff. Uh, yeah, some of it very, very experimental, which for me, you know, whilst I don't mind listening to something new that I've never heard before, or very, very experimental 60s music doesn't always do it for me. So I landed on something uh, which the British would know very, very well, but maybe outside of Europe wouldn't be so well known. Scooter. Yes, that Scooter. So I basically gave myself the task that I would have to listen to their Greatest Hits album. <laughs> and this is one of those things that, on the one hand, the 14-year-old in the back of my head was like, oh yeah, this is going to be absolutely hilarious. And the 44-year-old part of my brain on the other side was just like, what on earth are you thinking? So for those that don't know about Scooter, here's how this worked. You had this... Uh, European dance music band, um, the sort of stadium dance. It's hard to explain. The easiest way to explain this would be imagine a slightly more up-tempo dance music, sort of Euro style, and it's headed by this guy H.P. Baxter, who is this sort of bleach blonde, you know, very, very maniacal sounding <laughs> uh, character. So the band was, you know, in, in many respects considered so bad that Radio 1 wouldn't play their stuff. And then there was this parody band that popped up um, called Moped. And Moped were played on the radio, even though the real band that they were parodying were not played on the radio. So Moped became a uh, well-loved parody in the UK, but Scooter was sort of like, you know, very, very... Uh, uh, pushed to the sides and you know you were basically laughed at if you admitted that you listened to Scooter. So here we are some you know 20 years later and I finally got around to doing the Greatest Hits album. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is just play a couple of clips to give you a background on Scooter and Moped. So remember Scooter's the real band, Moped is the parody. listening to this my head was just like ah <laughs> like it's bad so there's not much to report today it's the weekend's coming up i'm hoping to get some uh, running in over the weekend and uh yeah just hang out with the kids be daddy and uh yeah that's pretty much the plan so speak to you soon <laughs> all right bye <laughs>